A 13-year-old shot inside an apartment, an 18-year-old shot while walking down the street, a 14-year-old shot and killed by police after allegedly robbing a convenience store at gunpoint. It's been a disturbing week in Aurora regarding young people and violent crime. That's one week in Aurora. <laughs> when, you, when you throw us into the equation, shit just, I mean, it's not even fucking Godly. close to anybody else. Like they talk about on burritos. You know, burritos? No, burritos ain't close to this, man. This is one week in a fucking throwaway town. This is probably this is probably the fucking top two hundred, maybe, maybe top three hundred of black cities, of, of black Estadian provinces in this country. I don't even think Aurora is maybe Aurora maybe top five hundred. There's so many cities that we go to where the shit is way worse than Aurora. And it probably got, they got more black people and the black people are harder than in Aurora. And look what's happening in fucking Aurora. A 13 year old shot inside an apartment, an 18 year old shot while walking down the street, a 14 year old shot and killed by police after allegedly robbing a convenience store at gunpoint. It's been a disturbing week in Aurora regarding young people and violent crime a week that continued a troubling trend from last year. It's a huge problem. From 2021 to 2022, violent crimes involving juvenile suspects increased by 22% in Aurora. And with the summer months fast approaching, Chief Art Acevedo is concerned. Days are long, the temperatures are hotter, uh, and it's not just youth, it's, it's the American psyche. We have a country where Everyone has a, a, a firearm. Firearms are easy to get a hold of. And the problem is not just in Aurora. In Denver last year, the number of juveniles arrested for homicides and non-fatal shootings was just about the same as the year before. But the number of juvenile victims of those crimes increased by 53%. I am terrified of what could happen this summer. Jason uh, McBride is a violence prevention specialist with the struggle. A violence prevention specialist. At Aurora. Aurora, yeah, 351K, 15%. 15%. What makes, what makes him a specialist? He's black. And he talks to gang members. Yeah. He maybe he was one. Yeah, maybe he was a gang yeah, member. Yeah, he was a black. former gang member. Yeah, in, in 15% Sun City, and this is what you gotta have violence professional level the fuck these go jesus christ man increased by 53 percent i am terrified of what could happen this summer jason uh, mcbride is a violence prevention specialist with the struggle of love foundation all the trends all the indications everything that i look at uh shows me that we're going to have a, a a really violent summer McBride attributes the recent increase in violence among young people to the mental health issues resulting from the pandemic. And <laughs> I'm gonna play that side rate eighty percent more than the national average. Come on, Uck, you know the pandemic caused the sun man to act like this, man. <laughs> I this guy, the fact that it's this guy saying it. He's a specialist, man. He's a violence prevention specialist. <laughs> so he could have glide, he could have a room of a hundred gliders, all with degrees and fucking great homes and vacation twice a year and trust funds for the kids and 401ks. He could go in a room full of gliders like that that got all their shit together, all their T's crossed, all their I's dotted, and they defer to hold. him. Court, he go court to have them all the rapt attention. <laughs> the salary is probably like a hundred and twenty-five thousand a year. God, dog, man. Love Foundation. All the trends, all the indications, everything that I look at uh, shows me that we're going to have a, a a really violent summer. McBride attributes the, the recent increase in year. violence among young people to the mental health issues resulting from the pandemic and the easy availability of illegal guns. Unfortunately, he does not see the increase slowing down 
anytime soon in Metro Denver. It's migrated to other areas. So you're going to start seeing more violence in Thornton and Westminster and surrounding areas like that, not just Aurora and Denver where it's, it's usually concentrated. So is that a threat? <laughs> yeah. It's, it, I mean, it sounds like a threat. It sounds like a promise. Shit. So basically sounds son, like a mafia threat. Yes. Sons are, sons are going to those other places. That's, that's all he just said is sons are in these other places. He does not see the increase slowing down anytime soon in Metro Denver. It's migrated to other areas. So you're going to start seeing more violence in Thornton and Westminster and surrounding areas like that, not just Aurora and Denver, where it's, it's usually concentrated right now. McBride said another factor driving the recent increase in youth violence is the continuing influence of gangs. And in fact, according to police, at least one of last week's shootings in Aurora appears to have been gang related. Yeah, it was a worrisome look ahead to what might lie ahead in the summer. <laughs> yeah, man, it was a bleak, a bleak outlook. Basically. 